Good morning. Hi. Welcome back to Get A Life. We are off on a boat today. We're going to have a bit of a cruise around and check out one of the most awesome temples. Check out one of the most awesome temples in Bangkok and uh, see where else the day takes us. So stick around. So it's quarter past eight in the morning and uh, the boats start at 8.30. So we are just, uh, let's stop there number N13, which is KSM Road. Let's see how we go. There's an all day ticket for 150 baht, which is about $6 Australian. And uh, yeah, the lady's going to hook us up with one shortly. Sort of the first pe people here. It's a little bit early still, but that's good. Just nice and cool. Gorgeous Bangkok morning. This is where we're situated. King Rama Bridge there. And yeah, just cracking morning. So we've just got our little passports. Little old age albums. There's a map in there, it tells you where to go. Gives you some ideas. Absolutely gorgeous this morning. Nice cool breeze. Beautiful. So it's a hundred baht entry into what I ruin and here it is man we don't normally uh Lena and I we go and have a look at a few temples and stuff we really show them on here but this one this one is the boss and it's definitely worth highlighting because it's beautiful and it's super super old So yeah, it's over 300 years old. In here. You see it from the water, you go here, man, that's pretty cool. When you're here, you actually see how tall it is. And then it's all got bits of pottery and stuff. On these shells. Then you realize how tall the thing is when you're standing right next to it. And it is absolutely massive. And the whole lot has got these little bits of pottery and shells. Like a mosaic mania all over the thing. And it does look pretty cool. It's one of those places, like if you go to the Grand Canyon, then it puts where you see the Grand Canyon, you try and tell people about it and go, justice. yeah man, it's massive, and then you show photos and they go, oh, yeah, it's cool. But, yeah, this is one of those sort of places, like looking at it through the little GoPro machine. Doesn't do squat. artwork especially these cowrie shells they're a bit of a these cowrie shells they're a bit of a surprise but yeah cool oh there's Lena look how steep those stairs are she's six foot and she's bloody struggling how's my poor little legs gonna go oh. <laughs> We're on the 
first boat over here, so there's not many people. It's only 8.30 in the morning. It's already hot. It's not already hot. It's nice for the breeze. We'll go for a walk around the back and see what else is at the yeah, other side. Right, right? Yeah. The Apparently there's some Buddha relics up in the spire, like Lena said. So yeah, it's been a real surprise, it's good. Really nice. Have a checkers. Feeling nice and refreshed this morning. Finally had a haircut yesterday. Woo! Jackpot. I'm loving the temple, it's maybe something. Just around the back of the temple grounds now. And there's tons and tons still more to see. It'd be impressive lit up. It would be impressive lit up, honey. Hence these heavy duty power cables here to light it up during the night time. Maybe when we're coming back on the boat, it will be lit up, depending on what time the boat goes. Lena just pointed something out all around the uh, all around the temple. We've got all these awesome bonsais, which are all obviously friggin' years and years old. No one's even looking at them because the temple's so awesome, but these are pretty special too. All around, there's tons of them. Heaps of different styles, different types of trees. Every pot, they're everywhere. You don't notice until you see one, they're sort of hidden in plain sight. Just having a little break in this cool area here on the side of the monastery there's some uh, amazing plants here I'll just show you some of these orchids and they're beautiful and they're just absolutely thriving they're everywhere you go to the airport if you've seen them at Phuket or there's just orchids everywhere and they show them off and man, these things are thriving. Beautiful, they're everywhere. Frangipanis. Big old boys, this thing. Frangipani must be friggin' ancient with a trunk like that. Oh, and the amazing green grass lane has just pointed out. That's true. Astro turf, artificial grass, yes. But yeah, the grounds are kept really well. You can see the topiary trees and stuff there. It's really nice. Definitely worth a visit, for sure. Even if you don't like temples and don't like gardens, it's just, there's a good feel about the place. And it's really nice. It's just laid back, man. It's cool. 100 baht to get in. So three bucks US, four dollars Australian. And yeah, it's gorgeous. So if you're looking at coming out, if you're looking at coming out, it's definitely worth it. If you're uh, on foot, you can stay as long as you want. If you're on the boat, if you're on the boat, the boats leave every half an hour so if you just want to stay get a couple of quick pictures half an hour is enough but there's definitely enough definitely enough to uh, look at for an hour if you wanted to stay a bit longer because the grounds are quite sizable just jumped off at Rajani Pier there's an early morning flower market which is on so we're gonna go and have a look at that it's supposed to be pretty hectic a bit of chaos madness so sounds good there's a bit of a market in there I know if anyone if anyone needs some chilies I know a guy look at these freaking bags and bags and bags and bags and 
A few friggin' burning ringgits there, I'll give you the drum. <laughs> yes, we're going to look at this flower market. Check out some of the back streets. Which is cool, man. That's why we're here. Do some exploring jobs. We're not looking for anywhere to live today. We're just looking around. Bangkok. Sightseeing. Doing some sightseeing for a change. Nice. <laughs> Oh, mate's ripping the Vespa. That's like legit 60s Vespa. Where does it say to go, hon? Left here. Oh, it looks interesting. We'll go down here. Left here, yeah? Yeah, well, this is it, mate. Rightio. Heading down towards the flower market. It's just uh, heaps and heaps of groceries and veggie sellers. Early morning, which is fantastic. Good to see. Oh, and there's the lady with the meat on a stick. Jackpot. Yep. Lena's just seen the meat on the stick as well. Uh, I don't know where we're going, but people are going in here. Let's have a look. Oh my god, the smell in here is amazing. We must be in the right place. People here have paid for a food tour. And we've just found the joint for free. Jackpot. Oh yeah, just two. I think this is one that we did. Yeah. <laughs> These people that are here on this tour are actually on a push bike tour. And it's friggin' awesome. We did it about four years ago. With young Kale, our lad. I'll definitely give them a wrap on here for sure, because that was a friggin' mint experience. Covan Kessel it's called, Bangkok Bike Tours. If I can work out how to do a link thing, I'll sort something out because yeah, we did that four years ago and it's bloody an awesome full day on the treadley. It's nice and flat, fat dude like me, no problemo. And you go on bloody uh, long tail boats and have a feed, ride all around the city. It's frigging cool as. Here she comes. I can hardly see her with that green top on. <laughs> around all the around all the shrubbery. Oh honey, we'll put them on then mate. No, I'll put them on. So gone down another little alleyway. Oh look at this little birdie. Trying to get the pollen off the flower. And we found the flower market. Well, look at it all. This is crazy. We're back over in the uh, fresh food side. Lena stumbled across this. I've got to show you. It's amazing. Look at it. Asparagus. Absolutely perfect. That's beautiful. Oh, what a friggin' a stack of that fried up with a bit of garlic. So good. Lena's actually going to buy something. First white people to buy something instead of just filming in here. 
Some radishes, look at them. Lena's a happy girl. She's got a bag of radishes. We've emerged back into daylight. 40 baht for all of those. So if you're at your local green grocer, that'll probably be four punnets of radishes. And they look pretty good. Cow, yeah, mate. Well, I can hear the crunch from here. Oh, oh they're not peppery at all, they're really good. Hey. <laughs> Alright, let's have a go. So the sign over the road says ICP Flower Market and there's another entrance up there so I guess I guess we actually weren't in the flower market but there was flowers and it was a market so yeah we'll have a quick look in here if it's any good we'll show you some footage if it's not we won't here she goes look at us still going on these bloody radishes thanks mate Look at these. <laughs> Lena found some more of these. And they are gorgeous. We're over at that old side. And there's a few flowers here, but look. This is not the uh, this is not the flower market that it was cracked up to be. I think all the uh, all the stuff's moved over over the road now, so into the big open market. There's still vendors here was just way more impressive over the other side so busy this morning we realized we missed out on breakfast Lena's had bulk radish just but I'm gonna have a bit of these porky treats now the lady was starting to cut cut some of those uh, dark bits off yeah yeah good good yeah she was cutting some of these dark bits off and I said no 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 cut them keep it tarry apparently the toys don't like the burnt bits but that's what makes these things amazing. I love it. I'll just get a couple. And it's over proper charcoal, so it smells amazing. Yeah, blow that smoke straight on me. That's awesome. It smells so good. So I've just jumped on this new ferry. And it's air conditioned. And it's amazing after a big morning of walking around. So I'm going to stay on all the way to the end, and then uh, we'll come back and go to Icon Siam. Biggest new shopping mall in Bangkok, we'll have a look there and we'll go and have some lunchy. And uh, yeah, it should be good. So we're off the boat. At Icon Siam. Massive, relatively new mall. Pretty high end apparently. But uh, yeah, we'll have a quick look around in here. Nice spot. Oh, metal detector. Camera detector. Amazing. This might be the uh, the food section. The souk of Siam. That's where we are now. So we'll have a little look around here. Yep, I think this is the street foody section. So it's set up like little street food vendors, but you're actually indoors and air conditioning <laughs> yeah we'll see how cheap it is and no doubt the food's going to be all right just keeps going and going and going this is actually indoors it's a food court this is crazy and look it's not it's not super expensive like like you'd think, there's heaps of meals here for under a hundred baht. 
Hello. 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 Chicken and crab, mate. I've never seen it. I'm going to give it a run. The boss man with the big pig. Oh. Mm. Oh, yeah. Still hot, honey. Yeah. So many choices here, but I've got this which is chicken and crab meat in a crab shell so i'll try some of that i've got the thai brand pepsi which is actually very very good so yeah basic sweet chili sauce with it i've tried that already pardon me i'll have a try of these and let you know how they go so the verdict on this It's just like chicken mince, seasoned chicken mince stuffed into a crab shell. It's a pain in the ass to get out. It's supposed to have crab meat. There's no crab flavour. It's actually, it's actually pretty average. Bit of a disappointment. Needs more than sweet chilli sauce to fix it. So uh, yeah, I'm not even going to bother with the second one and not even going to finish the first. So, bit of a shame. Lena will be back soon. See what she gets to try some of hers. Who's here? <laughs> Ta da! Oh, she's found butter chicken! She's finally got her jingly butter chicken. Good on ya. What else you got there, baby? Butter chicken and I can't remember what that was, but it, the guy asked me, Do you like it spicy? I said, Yeah. Okay. What is it? Oh, good. Well, Lena's happy. Lena's happy. She's got some. Mm. Couple of curries. Bit of biryani by the looks. Looks good. Lena made the right choice. No. Not too special. Lena and I have just found this section in the upper ground floor. There's a little escalator you can take up with a couple of dragons on the side, we'll show you that. And all the staff are eating up here because the food is cheaper than down on the main floor. Like I've got meals here, 40, 60, 70, 55 baht. These are amazing. Super cheap. Good looking meals, 60 baht. All these here as well. 60, 60, nothing anywhere near 100. Hence, why the staff are all eating down the other end. And then here, anywhere that you can buy, any shopping centre that sells beer, <laughs> jackpot. So this is the escalator here. Coming up from the main floor. If you head up there, UG, upper ground. That's where the cheap food is and all the staff are eating. So there's a hot tip from... Simon upstairs better value maybe I should have tried there because those crabby things were pretty crabby so we've come upstairs into the main section there's like a Disney pageant or something going on here look at the size of this joint It is absolutely huge. It is massive, this place. So we're just on level one. And what have we got here? Porsche dealership inside the shopping center. Crazy. And over the road, it's the Maserati shop. Here's my car. 
Yeah, they got some khaki. That's for sure. There's the entrance we came in on. Certainly very spectacular. Not really my cup of tea, but nice to see all the same. I've seen it now, I won't have to come back, but it's pretty cool, man. Okay, quick question. In Thailand, you drive on the left at all the escalators and when you're walking you have to keep right I don't know what's going on there if you let me know if you have some understanding just let me know man just put something in the comments as to why they drive on the drive on the left but then uh, walk on the right it's a bit crazy oh well we're out back to the boat <laughs> 